All righty. Um, wait, I mute. I unmuted myself, right? Okay, yeah, I did unmute myself. Cool. All right. So now I just gotta take this off, and now everything is good. Um. Oh shoot, where'd my chat go? I can't see my chat. There's my chat. Oh hey, hello, Farold and Renegade. Thank you for stopping by. We're just some last second uh, preparations. This is the first time I've ever tried to do a stream like this. So hopefully everything works out fine. I did unmute myself, right? I did? Yeah, okay, okay, good, I did. And then, um, just gotta double check. Everything appears like it. No, I don't wanna launch Discord. Shoot. I don't want to have too many things running at one time. Uh, game. There's the game. Okay, good. I had to turn the music in the game off while the uh, intro was going on. Because otherwise you would have heard this going in the background. But if audio levels are... Wait. It looks like the audio levels are going to be okay, but if they, if they get all wonky, just poke me with a stick. Um... Yeah, we're gonna get started. This is a this is a spooky, scary game. Not really, but so it's Oregon Trail. So it's a a parody game of Oregon Trail, which I have played many times here on stream. This game was actually uh, this game was actually gifted to me by a friend recently, and I was gonna play it last Friday, but I things came up I wasn't able to do it but yeah so I'm gonna try to go for it now so here we go apparently I didn't finish this game this was one of the I played it like three times through the first two times I did not make it second time or the third time I made it this is like a fourth time where I apparently didn't finish but we're gonna start a new game oh I'm Bradzilla Oh, Brazilla, thank you for that sub. Thank you, friend. As, uh, three months, wow. Has it really been that long? Oh, thank you so much. And here, let me, uh, let me do the thingy here. The, my wife's bot isn't online at the moment, and I don't have any other bot, so, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, in that case, um, Anybody in the anybody in the chat? Anybody on the, anybody watching? You should definitely go and check out Broadzilla eighty six. She's a good streamer. She's currently playing. Well, I know you're playing Inquisition. I don't know. Uh, did you beat Final Fantasy yet, or are there any other games that you're currently going through? But uh, she's a great streamer. Definitely go check her out. Highly recommended. Um, I hear. There we go. I'm just gonna get the game started here real quick. And apparently there's a co-op mode, but I don't know how to do it. <laughs> so there we go. And this, oh, I should mention too, I kind of like half mentioned it, but this game was, this game was gifted to me by a friend. Um, from being pirates. Oh, of course. Wisebot's still not here. I can't do that shout out either. But this game was given to me by another streamer friend, Pirate Savvy, who is another fantastic streamer who I highly, highly, highly recommend checking out. I highly recommend all these people. But uh, Pirate gave me this game, so in her honor, she is going to be the party leader today. And it's super fun. I love all this. Uh, and since this is the first time we're streaming it too, I'm going to play the intro as well. I get to come up with all these voices for everybody. So click on the enemy and draw a line towards yourself to shoot. So like that. You just take out the zombies. So it's a lot like... It is a lot like Oregon Trail, but... And I'm out of ammo. It is a lot like Oregon Trail, but it is a lot. It's a lot more involved than a lot of, than Oregon Trail was. 
anyway, um, let's get this going. Well, then it looks like I just saved your bacon. I reckon they stand a better chance out there if we stick together. My name is Clements. I used to, I used to be a priest. Not much use for those nowadays. What's your name, partner? So again, we're making Pirate the party leader because she is the one who gave me this game. We are playing in her honor. <laughs> Pleasure is all mine, Pirate. Listen, even with the two of us, we won't survive very long. Everyone I trusted died a while back. Do you know anyone we could count on in a pinch? Yeah, so we got... Yeah, I, I know a few people we could count on in a pinch. So I'm going to put me in there. You know what? We'll put... Uh, we'll put... Put Brodzilla in there. She's in the chat. She just subbed again. We'll put Peach in there. And then... I'm going to put Maven in there. Another great streamer friend. Another highly recommended friend. <laughs> Watching and playing Splatoon at the same time? No worries, Brodzilla. Splatoon's a fun game. You enjoy yourself. Alright. So now, let's go ahead and head out on the trail. There's a good chance if they're still alive that we'll be up at the shelter set up in D.C., if they have any sense, that is. We're going to need a way to get around. I saw an old station wagon a few blocks back. Those things might not be very reliable, but, they're, but you'd be surprised at how roomy they are. Anyway, let's keep rooming. Let's keep moving. <laughs> Dibs on dying first. <laughs> well, it's hopefully not. I made it through one game, or the one game that I actually did beat. Uh, the one game that I played that I actually did beat... I only, uh, oh wait, I should be practicing shooting while I'm up here. There we go, I shot a shot. Uh, the one game that I actually did beat, I only lost one person, and it was kind of a stupid reason because they, like, straight up, it, like, within the first couple seconds of departing from the starting point, that just gave me a message that said, like, so-and-so wandered off and didn't come back. So it was just like, Oh, well, I immediately am down one person, but I got everybody else there safe. The one time I did win. All right, I think I had just enough fuel and food to make us to... Yeah, I can read. All right, I think I've got just enough fuel and food to, for us to get to D.C. in this baby. Let's hit the road. I'll drive. Probably die of dysentery and nothing zombie related. Well, there is dysentery in this game, surprisingly. 135 mi miles to Washington, D.C. I also love how it's like a station wagon instead of a covered wagon. <laughs> There's so much stuff about this stuff. Are there snacks? Not as far as I've encountered. I don't think there are snacks, but there are zombies, and lots of them. Zombies are the snacks of this game. So Clements broke his arm. And there we go, Clements has dysentery. <laughs> And then Cle Clements was bitten by a zombie. See, there we go. That's how it is with all the, uh... That's how it is with all the... Whatchamahoosits. Uh, zombies instead of snacks. So instead of snacks wasp, we have zombs wasp. <laughs> yep, zombs wasp. Alright, here we are in Washington, D.C. Alright. Just as the station wagon runs out of fuel, you coast into the city. You can hear a radio blaring in a nearby window. Repeat, all survivors who are still... I almost just did like an old... I should do like an old-timey voice. I repeat, all survivors who still remain in Washington, D.C., the government has declared a class 3 biohazard in the area. They will be commencing a nuclear strike within a few short hours. Get out while you still can. The city is lost. Looks like we're gonna have a t time problem. I'll go look for your friends at the shelter. Meanwhile, you should go scavenging for supplies. I heard about a place on the west coast that is supposed to be a safe haven for all this chaos. Let's meet back here and head out. Here, take my journal. I've written down everything I know about surviving on the road. It should help you decide what you think we may need on the trip. Just don't read too much in the beginning. There's some private stuff. I mean, it's my journal after all. <laughs> we need to get to the vault. Oh, wait, wrong game. <laughs> See, pick the supplies you want. Hours remaining. So, I kind of, like, 
through the times that I've played this before streaming, I kind of have gotten a feel for what's good. So fuel, medkit, ammo, and food I usually take up to three. Do two for money, one of each for the rest of this. And then we can do one more into something else. Which I'm leaning towards either, I think, fuel. Because food is actually sort of easy to come by in this game if you scavenge a bunch. Ammo, if you're, as long as you're like careful with the way you use it, it's not going to run out too bad. Money, there are jobs you can do you can get uh, money for, so that's not too big of an issue. Med kits, you can buy, but it's good to have a decent starting amount to begin. And then as long as you have just one of these, which I guess technically translates into two of these, two of each of those, you get like pretty far. So I feel like this is a good balanced start. Oh, there you are, WiseBot. Thank you for finally joining us. Maybe now I can do my shout outs. So let's see, we had Brodzilla. There we go. And then we'll do the pirate shout out because she gifted the game. All right. And I am going to set up shop here. All right. So now, your friends join the party. Click anywhere to continue. Oh, this is a different screen than I had the first time. Because I, uh, I had a slightly different screen. Why Spot was brunching? They had like these uh, companion characters were different. All right, so we have Pirate, who's the party leader. We have this one. It looks like Jesse Eisenberg, but it, I'm gonna say this one is me. So we have, let's say, Rodzilla here. We have, I don't know. See, we have Peach here, and then Maven here. We'll say, how about that? And we also have a Corgi. Great, everyone's here. There's just one more thing. Back there on the road, one of those things bit me. I'm already not feeling too well. I'm not feeling too well, Mr. Stark. And I can't stand the thought of becoming one of them. You're gonna have to put me down. Why don't you just keep my journal and maybe help you out there? Good luck. Yeah, so that's another mechanic in the game. You have to... Corksworth. <laughs> Corksworth. <laughs> Corksworth. Indeed. Cor oh, Corksworth. Yep. So, if a companion gets bitten, you, more than often, you have to put them down. Which, I didn't, which apparently, you don't have to put them down. Because in the game, um, supposedly, you can reach Oregon as long as they don't become, like, incapacitated. Uh, they don't actually turn into zombies. And... I wish I had known that the first time I played because three of my companions got bitten by zombies and I immediately killed all of them. <laughs> Alright, 230 miles to Pittsburgh. Alright. So once we get to the first... Oh. Brazil was dicking around with $25 and accidentally ruins them. Well, way to go. Way to go. <laughs> Already messing up on money. That's alright. Money is easy enough to come by, I guess. <laughs> not bad. Although, it was... Although, that's still not the worst I've seen. Because one of the ones I saw, it was something like... Uh, it was like... Someone sat on $25 and ruined them. It's like... That doesn't make any sense. You put money in your back pocket all the time and sit on them. It doesn't hurt it. All right. Rummage four fuel out of body on the side of the road. So we got extra fuel. Nice. And we found some, ri some wild fruit in Philadelphia. Makes sense. You slow down to sneak past a large horde of zombies. And now we're in Pittsburgh. All right, so here we are in our first town. There's a lot of different things we can do. Um, so we got the party over here. Everybody's doing okay. So like the leader's health doesn't go down at the same rate that the party's health goes down. It goes down a little quicker. Um, yeah, we can 
use med kits, which I'm not going to use med kits because we only have 15 of them. Yeah, because for some reason I didn't read all this stuff before, but yeah. We only have 15. We're not going to use them yet because no one's like really needing one yet. We can kill someone if they get bitten. We don't necessarily have to, but we can. Or we can rest and this is how you regain uh, party member health. We can talk around, which usually there's no one. Oh, there actually is someone. Usually it's like you found no one. See, getting bit ain't the, uh, getting bit isn't the end of the isn't the end for you. Some folks out there will kill anyone that's been scratched by one of them slum heads. My terrible Scottish impression that I didn't rehearse, and therefore was pretty bad. They also have to keep in mind the state of the car as well, so. You have to repair the car as it goes. You start out with scrap. And this might be my least favorite part of the game. Because <laughs> I'm bad at timing this. Yeah, like every time you do that, it... Uh, every time you do that, it repairs the car. There's also different upgrades, which we don't have any yet. I'm going to set the pace a little bit faster. And so we start here, we need to get to Oregon, essentially, although it looks like it's a little bit close, a little bit higher up in Washington. But, you know, close enough. We just have to go in like a big circle around the fallout area. <laughs> All right. And then party All right, supply. That's what I want to do. I'm going to keep it at medium for rationing. Uh, scavenge I'll do here in a second, but let's do some... Oh, wait. Town. Oh, auto shop. Okay, what upgrade do we have? A radio has a chance to heal party members. That's good. I want to keep that. Now I only have $17. But thankfully, you can scavenge things. You could usually find some money and some food while you're out here. So this right here down in the corner is some scraps. That'll help for fixing the car. I think that might be fuel. I'm not sure. This is either fu uh, fuel or food. Ah, stay away, Zomsworth. Eh. There we go. Oh, nope. Nope. Don't stand too close to me. And occasionally there's like a bear that pops up in here. And All right, we got it. See, we only found food and scrap. Would have been better if there was some money. Are there, what, are there jobs we can do? Okay. Recovery, I like this mini game. I don't really care for the bandits mini game. So let's do recovery. Also, I legitimately don't know if my cursor is showing up on the stream or not, because I keep I keep gesturing the things with my cursor and then I just thought maybe it's not even showing up. All right, but recovery is pretty much just get to the get to the end of the level and don't get bitten. Because the party leader, if the party leader is attacked, that's how the party leader loses health. Oh, I completely whiffed on that shot. Oops, it wasn't reloaded yet. Ah, no. Okay, I got it. Okay, the cursor doesn't show. Alright, I'm not sure how to change the setting so it does, but it's not super important. I'll just have to be a little more conscious of that. Alright, and I earned $34. Bandits is a mini game I don't particularly care for because it's old. It's kinda hard. Wow, what? There's a band in every window? Really? Ugh. And I was shot already. <laughs> I didn't get a single shot out. So yeah, that's how the party leader can get hurt. Yeah. Okay, she didn't take too much damage. 
Oh, and Maven is here. Hey, Maven, run. Yeah, I I would normally run. But yeah, we didn't take too much damage, so I'm not gonna medkit yet. Um, we don't really have a lot of money and we don't really need much, so I'm just gonna keep going. Off to the next location. You must cross a horde of zombies in order to continue on the road. The horde in front of you is currently massive in size, but appears to be ravenous. All right, so this is the this is the fording the river equivalent, so we should not ford the river. <laughs> All right, so you can attempt to sneak through the horde. If the zombies aren't aggressive looking, you might be able to slowly drive through without drawing their attention. You can also fight your way through. You will attempt to drive through the horde at top speed, firing from the windows as you go. Um, a large and angry horde may still be able to overwhelm the vehicle. If there are mercenaries nearby, you might be will they might be willing to protect you for a normal fee as you pass through the horde. Alright, so they're massive and ravenous. I'm going to see if they calm down a little bit. Alright, so now they're docile, so we should probably, we are probably good to sneak through. I'm having concerns about this. Oh no, we made it. We made it okay. That was a large, a large thing. I thought they were going to overrun us anyway. Alright, 200 miles to the mall. That's another thing I really like too, because like, in addition to, uh, just like this being like a parody of Oregon Trail, you suddenly find yourself surrounded by zombies. Oh, geez, that's gonna take a thing. But in addition to like being a parody of Oregon Trail, there's also like a lot of other nice like zombie game references in here as well. And I think the mall is definitely one of them. All right, so we just have to. Uh, Have to survive the zombie onslaught. And I usually like using the shotgun because it can shoot multiple at a time. It just takes a little longer to reload, so you have to keep that in mind. Alright, and Hoja! Hey, Hoja, how are you doing? It's been a, it's been a while. I've been working a lot of the times you've been streaming. It's good to see you. Oh, that one didn't that one didn't take it. There we go. We survived the attack. That wasn't so bad. I've had far worse. All right, so back on the trail. Found some wild fruit. All right. Doing pretty well. How are you all, fine humans? I'm doing okay. Uh, heavy rebels under your car stuck. That's no good. Alright. Yeah, this, uh, this coming up, this location here. Oh, find yourself surrounded by zombies again. Alright, well, ding, 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 round two. Uh, boom. And boom. Ah. Got it. Okay. Now I'll, I'll continue that train of thought that I was doing right before we got attacked by zombies twice in a row. Once this is over. Ah, I missed that one. No, let me let me have this. All right, so we got. Oh, come on. There we go. Nice. <laughs> Double kill. Double kill indeed. So many zombies. Yep, that was... Uh, Brazil, there have been... That, at that many game I've done where there's been like way too many zombies and I couldn't keep up. Alright, but yeah, so... Yeah, it's kind of like really fun references to a bunch of other zombie games in this game as well so like the mall which this one is is a reference to uh oh, I, can, I just thought i just had the name of the game a second ago oh i can i can see the character's name i can see the character and i know his name was frank west what game was that called oh that was dead rising 
Okay, so Dead Rising takes place in a mall. There's all the zombies. Which, yeah, also Dawn of the Dead, of course. But then there's also that sign right there, Left to Die. I feel like that's a reference to the zombie game Left for Dead. Which, I've played that one with a friend of mine. There's a video out there on YouTube of us trying to figure that game out. Well, she's, she's amazing at it. I'm not good at it. So, yeah, I feel like there's all this stuff. And, of course, like Brazilla says, Dawn of the Dead. Well, the zombie movies and zombie games references in here, too. Used to play a lot of Left 4 Dead when it first came out. Oh, hey, it's every Black Friday in a mall ever. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Oh, and Maven, thank you for those shout-outs. And here, let me, uh, I'll, I'll do the Maven shout-out. There we go. You're my best mod. Alright, so now, uh, Combat Trainer. This is also something that I didn't know existed the first two times I played. A, a grizzled stranger beckons to you in a dark corner and offers to teach you some useful techniques for $80. Oh, yes. Not neglecting your duties today? No, you're, you're doing perfectly fine, Maven. So let's see, so... See, this one actually isn't the greatest of the techniques, though. I almost don't mind if we don't get this one. We only have $51, so right now we can't even get it. I have to see what jobs we get. Of course, bandits or bandits. And they're both the same difficulty. This one gives us more money, though, so I'm going to try this one. And hopefully this doesn't end poorly. She has to be really quick on this one. Shoot. Like, I'm trying to go for the one in the, the top left window. And hopefully, if I time it right, I can kind of get the one down below, too. Shoot. See, they're just never popping up when I need them to. Oh, you got it. Okay, cool. Got him. And I can't get hit because I take one hit and this whole mini game's over and we didn't have $20. Ah, shoot. Maybe I'll just go for the guy over on the right. He's the only one. Shoot. I didn't even aim right at that one. Not even aiming anywhere close to him. Shoot! It's the end of the world as we know it. Let's become bandits, right? Oh, that was a completely terrible shot. I'm wasting all my ammo. See, I usually don't do the bandits mini game. Okay, I got one. I wasn't even aiming for him, but I got him. Okay. Okay. Okay, one more. I really don't like this mini game. <laughs> okay. Man, I was leaning in all close to the screen, too. I was getting real into that. <laughs> ah, bandit killer. Yep, that is me. I don't want to do that again. <laughs> so we'll just let someone else do that one, and instead, we'll scavenge. Alright, let's see. Here's some food we don't really need. It'd be great if we could find some money. You usually can find some money when you scavenge. And I'm usually not... Okay, there's some money. I need it. And one thing that's good, too, is you walk faster than the zombies do, so... Oh, there's some more money. That's like a little wallet over there that popped up. No, mine! You walk faster than the zombies do, so that's nice. There we go. $70. So that was good.
Now we just need to not sit on the money and break it. Yep, like, like my companion in the last time I played did. So now we could go and get that one. See, what's... We're still not hurting too bad. We're still not hurting too bad, so hopefully we can just hold off. I'm not going to use a med kit yet. Got to leave the house now. Hopefully I'll be back in time for more stream. Okay. Bye, Maven. Thank you for stopping by. I will hopefully see you later. If not, then I will see you next stream. So yeah, everybody's still in pretty good shape. How's the car doing? Car could use some repairs again, but I'm going to hold off for now. All right, should I get the body armor? The thing is, you can only have three. You can only have three, and then there are other ones that I've encountered that are way more useful than this one, so I'm going to hold off on that. 142 miles to Indianapolis. Alright, let's go. You're out of water and can't find any nearby. Everyone's dehydrated. Tis unfortunate. Oh, there we go. First dysentery. <laughs> there we go. Of course. And dibs on dying. Uh oh. Run, lost, alive. That's totally a zombie because it's green. <laughs> I don't know. Like I know it's probably just because they're all like arranged in a line, but for some reason I thought, is this like a bike marathon or something? Like the zombies riding bikes. All down this path here. <laughs> okay. Alright, I'm done making myself laugh. Let's keep going. Alright. I always like how there's that guy, too, with the trench coat. He's always there. Always watching. Alright, auto shop. What upgrades do you have? I think I'd rather keep the radio to the heal party members instead of replacing it for a GPS. So if a zombie bites you, or so if a zombie bites you, you become a zombie. But if you bite a zombie, does the do they become you? <laughs> That'd be weird. Like imagine if like I'm trying to think like imagine if like someone like Hugh Jackman got bit by or a Hugh Jackman in the apocalypse started biting zombies, and then all of a sudden there's just like an army of Hugh Jackmans taking over the world. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I picked you, Jack, when it was like the first celebrity that pops into mind. <laughs> anyway, um, so I don't want that uh, upgrade because it would have replaced the one that I already have that I actually like, so I'm just going to pay them to repair my car so I don't have to do it. What are our supplies like? So you still get a lot of fuel. We got a decent enough food. We could probably... I'm thinking for later, we could probably use more ammo. We're going to be using it a lot more as we go. But I think I'll hold off on it for now. So, recovery. Okay, I like this. I don't really need three mufflers, but I can maybe sell mufflers? Or I can use mufflers to trade for other useful items. And usually you can play this minigame without firing a single shot. Should have brought a snack. Could have got a, could have got a snack to bite the zombies. <laughs> now, apparently we have a corgi. Although, the corgi pretty much never shows up in this game. Now, that was cutting it a little close. But we got the box. I earned three mufflers. I am rich in mufflers right now, because how many does that give us? We have like five mufflers now. What are we going to do with all those mufflers? Can I sell mufflers? I can buy mufflers. Can I sell? 
I can't sell my mufflers. What are they good for? I'm gonna do a quick scavenge just to be safe. You never know, I might get some more money. Here's a something. I never figured out what that one is. If it's fuel or if it's like food. Stay away from my shopping cart. Okay, there's more food over there in a grocery bag. Alright, probably gonna have to take these guys out. Oh, and there's money. I actually need that. Probably more than I need to scrap. I'm greedy. Okay. 365 ounces of food while scavenging, but you were only able to carry back 250. You also found $50. Nice. Alright, and our car is at full health. We may as well rest a bit. I forgot Peach had dysentery. Alright, so I think we're all good to go. 212 miles to the farmland. I mean, just the farmland. You suddenly stop to avoid hitting a zombie and everybody gets whiplash. Also, I totally said zombie for some reason. I don't know why. Everybody gets whiplash. Everybody gets a copy of whiplash. I don't know why every single one of us needs one copy of whiplash because, you know, we're all in this together. We only really need one copy of whiplash, but <laughs> apparently whiplash cured your sickness. <laughs> Who knew, next time someone gets dysentery, just slam really hard on the brakes, they'll be fine. Your muffler's broke, but you were able to fix it. Okay. See, all my all my five mufflers came in use there. You slow down to sneak past a large horde of zombies. Alright. The only thing I wish is that they could like show the map on this screen, because you can't see the map unless you're stopped. You find some roadkill. It's probably safe to eat. Hey, and the farmland. Where everybody is getting their purple drank on, apparently. Alright. Oops, no, not sell. I want to look at the jobs. Bandits or defense? I forget what defense that minigame is. I'd prefer not to do bandits, but you know what? Let's do it anyway. Okay, so defense is just doing this. I can handle that. How? Wow. How did that? How did that not kill that guy? Okay. The crawling ones are fast. I need to worry about them. Sometimes the fat ones take more than one shot. Okay, this is actually not great, because if they get too close... Although I think they're slowing down. And I got a triple kill, so that was... Oh, come on. I was just saying, I got a triple kill, and that was cool, but then I immediately missed one zombie. All around me are familiar zombies. I got ten dollars. Alright, let's do this one. Banditos. Oops, I know I don't want the pistol, I want the shotgun. Oh good, there's only three, so that's fine. Shoot. I have to kind of time it when they aren't looking up. Oh, come on. Ow, ooh. I thought the bandit had already... I thought the bullet already went past me there. Well, sorry, pirate. I got... I got your shot. How bad? Ooh, that was actually pretty bad. Now it's time for medkit. Alright. Car still doing okay. What do we got in town? Combat trainer. Okay, yeah, this is a good one. I want that one. 
money scavenger. So if we scavenge, theoretically we should find more money. So there was some food. We have some more food. And I think fuel. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, I think that was... Was that ammo, maybe? Okay, this is... Oh, jeez. This is not... Okay. Well, I got attacked by zombies there. Uh, zombie while scavenging, you've been injured. You managed to carry back 67 ounces of food. You also managed to keep five scrap. Okay, so that must have been scrap that I picked up. I didn't see any money in that scavenge. But I got that new trait. Come on, I want... Give me the money. Show me the money! Channel my inner Tom Cruise. Oh, come on, that would have been a funnier one to use that joke about. Like, a celebrity biting zombies and turning into a horde of, like, Tom Cruises. That would have been funnier than Hugh Jackman. I don't know what this is, but I want it. Oh, jeez, I'm surrounded. There was no escaping that one. I was still trying to conserve ammo. Oh, well, let's just buy ammo. Okay. Still doing good on f uh, food and fuel. I got a lot of scrap. I suppose I could just try to fix the car myself. I'm just not very good at this. See, it's all different speeds and it's random every time what speed it's going to be and then I start overthinking and that's what happens with the ones that are like misses. Oh well, car is mostly fixed. Let's go ahead and head out then. A bike gang follows you out of the settlement. Alright, time to crash. Somehow this doesn't affect the car health. But this is what we're supposed to do is crash into the cars because otherwise they come up beside you and start shooting. another mini game similar to this one where it's like a, a pack of deer coming at you and you can't touch the deer. That one's a little harder. I survived. I lived. 160 miles to Chicago. My hometown. Not really, but in that general vicinity. You see the remains of another party before you. Would you like to stop and look? Of course I would. Here lies Benjamin, an atheist, all dressed up and no place to go. Oh, I get it. All dressed up and no place to go. And there's a zombie hand. <laughs> Lucky for us, these bikers only knew how to drive in a straight line. Oh, that would be so much harder if they could dodge me. You're caught in a blizzard. Yep, sounds like Chicago. <laughs> the cold will tax your health and you will have to drive more cautiously. Poor Benjamin, bad Benjamin. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Also, hello, Central Stream. Thank you for stopping by. You served, you swerved to miss a squirrel and get stuck in a ditch. Well, nobody got whiplash this time, so I guess it's good. Sky clears up. Also sounds like Chicago. I think I accidentally just hit the mic. I apologize if that made an unpleasant sound in your ears. Let's see, Chicago. Click anywhere to continue. Uh, oops. Oh, shoot. I just... I clicked outside the game. Sorry. So 
to pull the game back up now. There we go. Then let's see here. How's how's the party health doing? We could probably stand to medkit pirates and then rest for a few hours to regain everybody else's health. Yeah. Might be a little overkill with how many hours we had to rest because it's hard to gauge how much. Yeah, we have four hours to go and everybody's at full health. There we go. We're done resting now. What do we have in the town? Another auto shop. No, I don't. I, I am in need of the money. What upgrade do you have? See, that's not... Snow rarely happens, so I feel like that's not even one I want to particularly get. Anyway, we're going to scavenge for a bit. Hopefully get some more money and... Yep, there's some money right there. Nice old Scrooge McDuck money bags. And some scrap. Oh, and some more money. I need that. Alright. Now I'll take the scrap. Oh, please kill... Yeah, <laughs> that was cool. I wasn't even planning that, but it was cool. I found zero food, but I found $55 and 40 scrap. All for the low, low price of a few bullets. All right. I'm going to try that again. I didn't even look to see how much money I'd, I had, but I only had like $21 plus 55 so that's not enough, I guess. I was thinking I might just have the auto shop here repair my car for me. Get away from me, zombies. Oh, I was about to shoot there and I accidentally it just ended, this, ended the minigame. But it's all good. We survived. Alright. We're not hurting on food. Just need some more money. Oh, there's more food anyway. And some ammo. Always helpful over here. And money bags. Old Scrooge McDuck money bags. And some more money down there. Ooh, that was cutting it close. Uh, I don't like the crowd. Okay. That was a little intense. Uh, 100 ounces of food and $90. Alright, I think we're good now. Definitely enough to... Oops, no, town. Auto shop repair. Alright, we don't need the shoe, or the snowshoe tires. I think we're good. I'm gonna go ahead and head out. Alright. 196 miles to remote shack. Remote shack, baby, remote shack. This game, this game where everything's the same, except of the creepy music, the only soundtrack is the DuckTales moon theme. Oh, the DuckTales game moon theme. <laughs> that would definitely, that would definitely be a thing. I remember that music. <laughs> Heavy ash covers the windshield, which forces you to slow down. Let's see, a bandit shoots one of your tires and drives off. Dig, <laughs> you replace it from supplies. <laughs> I also love how this game's commentary is like, so. Uh, someone shoots your tires. What a dick. <laughs> your battery dies. You replace it from supplies. Cool. 
remote check. If you see a painted rock, if you see a painted sign on the side of the road. Um. Anyways, what about the Donald Duck game? <laughs> it is a pretty dickish thing to do. I don't remember which stage, but one of them has a really scary theme. Um. I'm not familiar with the Donald Duck game. It wouldn't surprise me, but I'm not familiar with that one. I have seen the DuckTales one, the, uh, the NES one. I do know that one. Um, anyway, how's the car doing? <laughs> this game with the Demi theme from Undertale. <laughs> That's scary, yeah. That is scary. <laughs> yeah, but I, I know I know that one too. And though, to be fair though, Undertale has some really great music. Uh, enough fooling around here. What do we got? Got another combat trailer. Faster reload. Yes, please. No laptop. I don't want to. Why would I want to update right now? I'm in the middle of stuff. Hopefully that didn't show up on stream, but my laptop decided to be like, Hey, you know what's cool? Restarting and updating all your things. And I'm just like, no. Uh, everybody's still in pretty good health. Car's doing okay. We still have all five of our mufflers. What jobs do we have? I do like recovery. I didn't even see what we were being paid. Zombie's trying to get you. Oi, I'm zombie. <laughs> I'm zombie. <laughs> That's a good one. I should maybe play that game on stream sometime. That'd be fun. Yeah, but I already have two like big story-driven games going, and I have another one in the... Another two in the lineup for once I actually get the ability to do it, but that should be coming soon. Hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Something else. I am planning, I guess, I guess there's no harm in saying what I'm planning to do, because it'll happen eventually one way or another. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm getting close to finishing my nightmare run of Dragon Age Inquisition, and I'm thinking... I'm st I'm, I don't have it yet, but I'm planning on getting I'm planning on getting an Xbox one here next month and then once I have an Xbox one I'm thinking I'm gonna stream because they're all backwards compatible I'm gonna stream origins and Dragon Age 2 and I'm gonna do nightmare runs of both of those games which I don't know which one I'll do first I might do Dragon Age 2 first because I like that game the like that one's my favorite of the three games which if I get a lot of people don't care for Dragon Age 2, but I like it. It's my favorite of the three. It was my first one that I ever played. I have a special attachment to it. I know it's technically not the best game because a lot of reasons, but I still love it for what it is. And I'm also really kind of a kind of terrified of Origins on Nightmare Mode. Let's see, I know Undertale actually updated with a new secret boss a while back. Could be worth checking out, actually. I did not know that, actually. And, uh, yeah, and then also, um, I'm also planning on doing the Mass Effect games as well. Because they're, they're all backwards compatible to the original trilogy. Because I had... Origins, Dragon Age 2, and the original Mass Effect trilogy all for Xbox 360. Another thing I want to do too is I want to do all the Origins DLCs because I have them all now and I have all the DLC, uh, DLCs for Dragon Age 2 as well which I didn't have the first times I played them which wasn't on stream. I wasn't streaming back when I did that but I did uh, record them for YouTube back in the day but I didn't have well, I did have 
Mark of the Assassin and Legacy. And I did do videos for Awakening and Liliana's song for Origins. I had some DLCs when I did my YouTube playthroughs, but not all of them. All right, there's nothing new I can teach you. Yeah, so Sam, if there was ever a chance you could get it, would you consider checking out Soul Calibur purely for the memes? I'm actually, I know I've heard the name Soul Calibur, but I'm not too familiar with it. What kind of game is it? Gonna fix the car real quick. <laughs> Speaking of memes, too bad Maven's not here because this would totally be the Ashley fix the car. All right, it's close enough to being fixed. Yeah, we're all in fairly good shape, so let's just keep going. Let's see, Soul Calibur is a fighting game. All right. I'll, I'll look it up sometime and consider it. Has lots of well-known characters from all over, as well as the option to create your own character. So much memes, so much Skeletor. <laughs> okay, Skeletor has maybe piqued my interest. They fight. They all fight over this weapon, if I remember correctly. I own one of the games, actually. Right. Heavy fog rolls in. You are forced to drive more slowly. Oh, this purple haze all around me. Find some roadkill. It's probably safe to eat. Hey, they had Geralt in the most recent game, too. Nice. Like, just Geralt, or was there any other Witcher characters that got added? Uh, some food goes bad. That's no good. And the sky clears up. I should look at the map next time. See the remains of another party before you. Would you like to stop and look? Sure. Call it morbid curiosity. John Eternal. They ate me first. You discover one medkit near the grave. Nice. And St. Louis. The end is near. Uh, just Geralt, but you could probably find the rest of them made on by other users online. Okay. So the Witcher, that's... I have Witchers 1 and 2, and I've played a little bit of 3, but I haven't, I haven't really played, I haven't played 2 at all, and I've only played a little bit of the first one. Um, yeah, it seemed like, it seemed fun, um, but maybe not necessarily something I would stream. <laughs> I mean, given when I launched Witcher 3, within like, the first couple minutes I already saw Yennefer naked and I'm like yeah this is probably not something I'm gonna stream <laughs> uh, I have to have I have to have to game to make Hadoufans sorry if I'm reading that wrong I'm not good with pronouncing words and names I haven't seen I don't know I don't know that I'm not familiar with it um, okay auto shop what do we have Ooh, that's a good upgrade, actually. I'll get that one. And I'll repair. Definitely gonna need to scavenge for some more money here. And I've only been scavenging at towns, but you can do scavenging at any point in the game. You just have to stop the car. Didn't stop that guy. Oh, there's duct tape over there. Probably useful. Uh, there we go. Um, let's see. Zen has this one character named Hadu Funs. Um, again, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Uh, that keeps making appearances through Dragon Age and Mass Effect. They're beautiful. The most beautiful creature of them all. <laughs> now, now I'm curious. <laughs> all right. 
265 ounces of food while scavenging, but you were only able to carry back 250. You got $50 and 15 scrap. Nice. Always nice. And some more duct tape over here. I was hoping there'd be a little bit more money in that Scrooge McDuck, uh, the Scrooge McDuck money bag. Go for the ammo first, that's always good. I still don't actually know what this is. Is this food or fuel? It looks like fuel. Eh. This is also a little harder because I'm playing this with a trackpad instead of a mouse. See, they're so beautiful, they glitched the beginning of Andromeda and refused to wear any sort of spacesuit in Habitat 7. Oh, jeez. Like, it was, like, so glitched out that the the character's armor didn't populate? I've never seen a glitch like that. Though I've seen plenty of glitches in Andromeda in my day. Alright, we've got over a thousand pounds of food, so I think we're set on food. It's just money is what I'm trying to get here. I don't need more food. It's just gonna go bad and I'll have to throw it out. And that's even more food. Oh, there we go. There's some money. See, no armor and guns just wanted to fly away from his back. That, that's a weird one. I've never seen... I've never seen a glitch like that. Though I have seen glitches in Dragon Age where the Inquisitor just randomly shows up in maps not having armor. Like it, wa like it was equipped before leaving and then you just show up and they're just in their pajamas again. Let's see. Then my favorite glitch that I've ever encountered was when I had two naked jaws on my ship. That's that's an interesting one indeed. I would I don't know what I would I don't know what I'd do with two jowls. Or jaw. I guess his name is Jaw. I keep wanting to say Jal. Defense. I'll I'll do a defense, why not? for me zombies that guy's getting a little too close why all the fat zombies really fat zombie Hadifan's once one. <laughs> there we go. We got we got a significant amount of money now, so I think we're good. <laughs> I love how the crawling zombies move. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Killed all the zombies. Yep, all the zombies. Oh wait, we don't need anything here. How's the party looking? We can stand to rest for a few hours. So, just to keep everybody as good health as possible. Alright, let's go. Keep on keeping on. You must cross a horde of zombies in order to continue on the road. The horde in front of you is currently small in size and they appear to be ravenous. Break out guns! How did that overrun me? It's, they're like so, they're like so spread out. Like, how did that even happen? 
I'm actually kind of surprised and a little bit disappointed that that happened. Too little sickness and zombie bites. I might actually survive this. I am disappointed. Well, here, if I stop the car real quick, I'll show you the map. See, we're still, we still got a long way to go yet. <laughs> Just because of how ravenous they were, maybe. That could be. But there were so few of them, I thought it was a safe bet. The zombies overcame due to sheer will. I guess so. Alright, whoop. Oh, I just clicked out of the game by accident again because I'm playing in windowed mode. So it's a little easier on my laptop that way. Oh, now I can't see the chat. There we go. Now I'm back. I forget what the next landmark even is. I know it told me, but I wasn't paying attention. Oh, the cave. Remember your failure at the cave. <laughs> the, the, the zombies had determination. Determination. <laughs> okay, that was another funny Undertale meme I saw with Sans doing like the SpongeBob rainbow thing. It was like, determination. Any hoosers, what jobs do we have going here? Recovery. I don't really need a battery. Although, maybe I do need a battery because I think I had to replace one. And I always usually just default to the shotgun. Determination. I remember that one too. <laughs> They're filled with determination. <laughs> And see, that was another thing. Is like, I like games that just have like the most stupid jokes you can possibly think of. And I think one of the ones from Undertale that got me the most was when I was like, "Hi," uh, or I was like, "Hoi, I'm Timmy, and this is my friend Timmy." He goes to the next one, "Hoi, I'm Timmy, and this is my friend Timmy." And then you go to the next one, "Hoi, I'm Timmy. Don't forget about my friend." And then you go to the friend, he's like, "Hi, I'm Bob." Just all the st stupidest stuff always gets me. <laughs> okay. $69. That's worth it even for the memes. Doing it for the memes! Let's pretend that didn't happen. Okay. Ah, more fat zombies. These guys have been feasting. Oh shoot, I whiffed on the one that's closest. The faster reload's doing me a lot of favors there. <laughs> Don't forget about the special armor you get for a higher discount based on how many times you die. Gotta love Tammy. Right? Iron, $69. Ah, and I clicked out of the game again. Okay, here, I'm back. I don't think that's affecting the stream. At least I certainly hope not, because it's only recording this specific window. Okay. Action hero. That one's good, I'll take it. Everyone's doing okay, so I'm gonna... Oh, wait, wait. I didn't check the car. Car's doing fine. Okay. 106 miles to Memphis. We haven't encountered a lot of, like, gravestones or, like, side things. Oh, well, here... Does tombstone exist? As soon as I was saying, we haven't encountered any tombstones here. We found one. Christina Lee died of cholera. Now she eats brains. Look out! Oh, well, that would have been a more opportune one for a zombie hand to stick out, but apparently not. We discovered six dollars near the grave. There's a lot of, like, other events that happen, too. Like, sometimes, like... Bandits will like yank one of the party members out of the car and hold them at gunpoint. You have to try to shoot the bandit and not shoot your friend. There's other ones like that too. 
We haven't gotten any of those yet, and I'm a little disappointed we haven't gotten one of them yet. Let's see, what time is it? 2.11, okay. I have to stop the stream around 3 o'clock my time, so kind of having to keep an eye on the time here. Might have to make the, might have to set the pace a little higher, unfortunately. So the town, we got the auto shop. Oh, here, let's look at the upgrades first. No, I'm not gonna buy that. Just do the repairs. How's the supplies doing? Decent. Party, decent. Okay. See, the faster you go, the more damage the car takes. So I think I am going to... I'll probably spend 68 ammo trying to do that one, so that's not necessarily worth it. They don't have any ammo for sale either, so let's just go ahead and go. Also, I just realized that my chat hasn't pulled up again. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I may have missed a few things. Uh, should have had Timmy in Dragon Age. I would have needed them. <laughs> it doesn't show up on stream, no. Uh, we're going to Graceland, Graceland, Memphis, Tennessee. Yay, Paul Simon. <laughs> yep, Paul Simon. Indeed, I like that. That was a good one. And here we go, round two with the round two with the biker gangs who only drive in straight lines. Oh shoot, that was close. I thought I was in front of them, but apparently not. Thankfully, I got them before they shot me because I just fixed this car, guys. It's doing nothing for my bumpers. It would be funny if there was like a zombie Arnold Schwarzenegger that showed up on a bike during one of these. We also haven't encountered the bear yet. There's a bear zombie that attacks you too when you're scavenging. Your battery dies. You replace it from the supplies. And that's because I am well stocked. The indestructible station wagon. Not the bears. Yep. Get lost on a backcountry road for an hour. This has been a really uneventful game. Like, Peach got dysentery, and that's about it. Alright, time for the prison. Oh! Oh no! No, that's not what I meant when I said this hasn't been eventful. I didn't want for this to happen. Okay, so technically, I won't turn until I become incapacitated. So as long as I just heal myself a bunch, I am not going to turn into a zombie for the rest of my life. Well, rest in peace, me. What? There's nothing new he can teach me. Bandits are bandits. I'm definitely going to use more than 17 ammo, and I don't need another timer, uh, another tire. Supply. Supplies are still doing good. Trying to keep an eye on the fuel, though. We haven't really run out of any yet. Wait, no. Before we leave, we should probably rest up. Oops. <laughs> whiplash fixes everything, so Sam needs a whiplash. Exactly. Oh, which, um, for anyone who didn't uh, catch my explanation at the beginning of the stream. Um, this game was gifted to me by a friend. Uh, she goes by Pirate Savvy here on Twitch, so that's why she, Pirate, is the party leader, and me, Sam, I'm a party member. Along with Brodzilla, who's also a streamer, and Maven, who's also a streamer, and Peach, who, for, who's for Elden Renegade. We're all going on this trail together. Just want to make sure. Sorry, I just got a message on my phone. Here, let me hit the road again so we can have that going while I check my phone.
Okay, there we go. Found a battery in an abandoned car. Nice. It hit a pretty nasty bump in the and a tire flies out the window. You know, that's what happens if you don't bolt down your tires. You stop suddenly to avoid Okay, we got everybody gets whiplash, but I was not cured of my zombieism. The station wagon is taking a lot more damage now. Turn at the hospital. There's something that he can teach me. I guess I gotta fix the car myself. I got 96 scraps, so I guess uh, we have enough to fix it. I will never get good at this game. Turn the DuckTales moon theme on in the background. The game suddenly gets a bunch brighter. A bunch lighter. Yep. <laughs> I also... Now that I've been bit by a zombie, I think I... Like, everybody, like, so their health goes down slowly just as you travel. But I think... I think as a zombie, my health is going to go down faster. Oh, I am terrible at this. Alright. Let's go one more time. Oh, we're, we're in the triple dishes for food now. We'll have to do something about that, won't we? Well, we don't have any tires either. Let's scavenge. See if we can come up with some more money. Someone left a perfectly good dollar. There's another perfectly good dollar. I don't know what that is down in the corner. It's down in the lower the lower left corner. But I want it. Oh, I didn't have enough chance to get there. Cause that that's just like I think you have to I don't know how long that is, but that's Every time you scavenge, it's just on a time base. Like, there's nothing I'm doing to end it. I didn't mention that earlier. There's the money. And some food. Oh, I totally missed that shot. There's money, I need it. Oh, I couldn't get to the money. So I had to stop and shoot zombies. And I only got twenty dollars. Gonna have to BRB real quick. Try not to kill me while I'm not here. I need to witness witness my own demise. I will try not to. Alright, 130, or 318, I don't know where I got 138. Suddenly found yourself surrounded by zombies. That's no good. Oh, in this game also, the party leader can die before party members too. Because that happened to me in my first run. I had one party member left, and the party leader died. But the game just ended. I didn't take control of the party member after that. And my tombstone was just like, Go on without me! You must live! I've been overrun a lot by zombies, and that usually doesn't happen. 
know, where are some of the good interactions that happen? I swear they happen in this game. Okay, here we go. Looks like something interesting. I just have to mention that I'm not getting them and then the game gives them to me. <laughs> it looks like something interesting is happening off the side of the road. Would you like to get out and look? Yes, I would. You walk into a restaurant and see a bald, round-faced man in a chef's outfit eagerly working at the kitchen. Ah, oh, customers! Come in, come in, have a seat. Please try my latest masterpiece. Um, let's have some. You sit down and have a bite of the interesting pile on your plate. It's awful. How is it? You can tell that this man is probably at his wit's end and is probably all he has left anymore. Uh, I'll say that it's good. <laughs> you tell him it's good and finish your plate. You feel ill. Spectacular. Here, here. Take some more food for the road. He hands you some food, which is lucky, which is luckily in can form. He seems quite content with himself and continues working in the kitchen. Oh, see, we did a good deed. We made a man happy. Now Pirate is sick. <laughs> <laughs> The road is impassable. Finding a way around takes an hour. I just have to wait till the sickness is over, too. It's like giving Pirate a med kit won't heal her. Sam tells a really good joke. Everyone is in high spirits. Okay. Okay, think of a joke quick. Think of a joke. Um, um, two cannibals were eating a clown. One turns to the other and says, Does this thing taste funny to you? Uh, okay, hopefully that raised spirits. <laughs> Joke! <laughs> Alright, and there we go. Dallas. We in Texas. Okay, auto shop. What are my upgrades? <laughs> you feel better? Party members in front take one less damage. What does that even mean, party members in front? I'm keeping my radio, though. I'll just have you repair the wagon. I'm glad you feel better, Roger. <laughs> it was... It was not my best joke. Okay. Go back and... Oh, activity deadly. That's gonna be fun. I lost control of the trackpad there for a second. That was close. Could have been a lot worse. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Alright. May as well rest a bit because... I'm not doing so hot. The thing is, if my health gets all the way down, that's when I turn into a zombie. <laughs> Pirate had dysentery. Oh, well, she doesn't anymore, but that's still kind of funny. Alright, we haven't really used med kits yet, so I'm just going to give one to Pirate and get her to full health. You must cross a horde of zombies in order to continue on the road. It appears to be docile. If it's docile, I think I can sneak through. There we go, we got it. 600 miles to the strip club. I hope everybody got their singles ready. Found some roadkill. It's probably safe to eat. I feel like you have to say it that way every time. Okay, what, what'd you miss? Um, we had an interaction with a restaurant at the side of the road. The guy was crazy and had us try his food. Pirate got dysentery from it. 
but we also got some more salvageable food from it. And and guess what? We're surrounded by zombies again because we haven't had this mini game like three times already. Come on, you threaded the needle there, zombie. Okay, I didn't know if that would work. Also like how it said we were surrounded by zombies and yet zombie activity is low. Alright, let's keep on trucking. I need to look at the map the next time we stop though. Don't let me forget to look at the map. And I broke my leg. My leg! Oh, there's three fuel off a of body at the side of the road. Okay. Well, we don't have to worry about fuel for a little while longer. And the grim scenery depresses everyone. Oh, well, maybe I just need to tell another joke. Um, let me think of another joke. Um, um... Why did the donut go to the dentist? To get a filling. And there we go. The most PG-13 I will ever get on the stream. <laughs> Though I do like how it says topless and there's literally just a torso without the... And there's literally just legs without a, the top half. That's kind of funny. You have live. Alright. All right, I need to check the map. Let's see. There we go. <laughs> oh, and hey, Medeo Mike, thank you for stopping by. How are you doing today? We're playing a, we're playing a spooky, spooky, scary game. It's not that scary. It's just Oregon Trail. <laughs> Sam looks like he needs healing in the game. Yeah, Sam in game does. Sam in game has seen some better days. He got bit by a zombie and broke his leg. Sorry, just answering a message real quick there, and I am back. All right, what do we have in the town? Just a combat trainer. Yeah, I don't need that. Should fix the car though. I'm just gonna concentrate here real fast. I am terrible at that game. And Sam is still slowly dying, it's fine. Even on the slow ones, I'm still terrible at it. I'll rest here once everything is done so we can try to get everybody up to full health again. Also, you gotta notice that, like, nothing has happened to Maven this whole time we've been playing. <laughs> like, everybody else has had something happen to them. All right. All right. Rest up, everyone. But resting is not going to cure my zombie bite. Okay, we're done. All right, and what, what the what does the map look like again? Okay, so we're about halfway. What else do we have here? We'll do the recovery mission. Cause why not? I'm pretty good at the recovery ones. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Okay, I th I'm just gonna concentrate to the end of this uh, mini game here real fast, which we're already there. So before I read that comment, halfway there, the zombie world. Okay. The thing is, like out of the corner of my eye, I saw it. I recognized that it was uh, it was Bon Jovi. But then, like my last, I for some reason added a word there to the in a zombie world. And it, I thought it said in a zombie wonderland. So, so my mind thought of the Christmas song "Walking in a Winter Wonderland." It's like living in a zombie wonderland. I don't know. My brain does weird things when I'm only half paying attention. 420 miles to Albuquerque. Let's go. How am I doing on time? Pretty good, I got a half hour. Oh, Peach got shot by a stray bullet. That's no good. We'll rest next time we get somewhere and you'll you'll be you'll feel fine. Just rest for a few hours. Let's see, it looks like something interesting is happening off to the side of the road. Would you like to get out and look? Sure. You see a shady looking fellow with a cup of with a game of cups set up on the side of the road. I'm reading this all out of order, I'm sorry. Care to try your luck? Two out of three chances to win, only $20. Okay, let's try my luck. Find the blue ball, win a prize. Find the red ball, win the grand prize. He lifts up the cups and shows you the location of the balls. He begins swapping the cups with a flurry of hands and cups the like of which you've never seen before. He stops. Which shall it be? I've never actually done this one. Usually I decline when I see it, but... <sighs> That's kind of unfair, you don't get to see. You're literally just choosing blindly. Do I do right, left, or middle? <laughs> I don't like it when you have to make me choose blind. I'm gonna go left. He lift the left cup. Nothing. Better luck next time. <laughs> Should we shoot him? <laughs> we lose. Good day, sir. <laughs> I'm a sore loser. <laughs> oh, we don't even get the grand prize? I thought that was why we killed him. A fuel can went missing. It's funny how that happens. Now I feel bad. And now Brodzilla has dysentery. <laughs> I feel like they kept that in just because of the Oregon Trail. A bandit steals two med kits from my car. Yeesh. I <laughs> would not like to play Monopoly with you. No, it's it's all just for the jokes here. Albuquerque. So we need to rest up a bit because a couple people are still sick. No, not dysentery. <laughs> Seems like another person needs whiplash, right? And Brodzilla no longer has dysentery. See, you just rest for a few hours and then you're fine. And now Peach is better from her gunshot wound. <laughs> yeah, you ever get shot, just rest for several hours. We haven't talked to anybody. We've had enough pesky flies all day and mosquitoes all night. It's either the baking sun or oceans of the dead, and sometimes both. I'm always worrying over roamers sneaking up on me when I take a piss. I haven't seen any in a while, but I still worry. Yeah, you, you still worry. You worry all you worry all worry all the things. All right, just fix the car. Much as I don't want to, I should probably scavenge for more money so I can keep repairing the car every time I go. Oh, and we're actually really low on ammo. Should try to conserve as much as I can here. Uh, that was close. 
Didn't think I was going to make that. I'm trying not to shoot more than I need to. We came out with a net loss of one bullet. Okay, hopefully they have some bullets here I can buy. No bullets. Dang it. How many medkits do we have? Nine. Okay, well, we're good there. Got dysentery? Try whiplash. Taking a bullet to the knee? <laughs> Go to bed. <laughs> yep. 352 miles to the desert motel. Alright. Keep on going. Your muffler's broke, but you were able to fix it. Because I have, like, five mufflers. I'm raining in the mufflers. You take a while while Maven vomits in the bushes. <laughs> oh, well. That's the first time something happened to Maven there. I used to be a zombie killer like you. And then I took a bullet to the knee. Yeah. You find some roadkill, it's probably safe to eat. No, that just made me think of one of my favorite versions of the arrow to the knee meme. Where it was... It was the Skyrim guy, but they like put the... Put the... Like, put the money python mask on him and it's like, I used to be an adventurer like you, but then I took an arrow to the knee! Mmm, roadkill. A sandstorm breaks up, you'll have to drive slowly due to low visibility. Oh, well, nice. Real nice. Alright. Desert? Cactua? Cac I can't even see what that second word is. Motel. No escape. There's a restaurant near me that has roadkill on the menu and never eaten there. <laughs> Who farted? I must you. Peach, was that you? The real danger is not the zombies, it's the rude sandstorm kicking in at any moment. <laughs> right? Alright. And for some reason, everybody is taking a lot of health down. Thankfully, we got more than enough food. We don't need to rest the rest of the time. Wait, is there an auto? No, just the combat trainer. I don't really need that. Uh, I guess we'll just repair this thing again. Also, the, the way this works, you can either do it so you're using eight pieces of scrap and it gives you more opportunity to use, or more opportunity to fix it, or you can use less, but using more increases the odds of fixing it, because it gives you more opportunities to miss, I guess. Whereas if I was only doing two, I would miss both. That's actually the best I've ever done. <laughs> Alright, well. What jobs do we have? Recovery and bandits. Can we buy any ammo here? We can buy ammo. I need it. Only 20, which isn't much. So I'll scavenge a bit, see if I can find some more money. There's some money. Also, I like how this thing up here that I'm right in front of looks like sushi rolls. Like someone just dumped a plate of sushi. Oh, and there's some ammo up there. I could use that. 
Oh, I was nowhere near. I've gone through tighter things for that. You were injured and attacked by a zombie. Okay. Managed to keep $12. Well, there's some more ammo here, at least. And the zombie activity is low, which is nice. I don't need all this scrap. Well, maybe I do so I can keep fixing the car, but I don't want all this scrap. I want money so I don't have to use the scrap. something else good before the level ends? Nope. Alright. Fine, I'll just hope for the best out here. And here we go with another bike gang. These guys never get the... These guys never get the message, do they? Almost missed that guy. <laughs> Maybe the dude's like driving into the back of your car. Don't kick shame. <laughs> I mean, that's one way of looking at it, I suppose. <laughs> Guy clears up. Nice. 362 miles to Las Vegas. We're going gambling, guys. And now Brodzilla has typhoid. Brodzilla keeps getting sick. And Peach has measles. <laughs> and everybody's getting sick. And we found more roadkill that's probably safe to eat. <laughs> Rodzilla, no! Do they have blackjack and zombies? I don't know. Peach, too? Damn. Right? Peach sits too hard on a muffler and ruins it. Wow. We gotta stop sitting on things because we... We ruined everything. <laughs> or do they have blackjack and zombies? Or do they have Jack Black and zombies? <laughs> uh, all right. What do we got to do here? I don't really need it. Let's see. We'll rest up a bit. Hopefully, people can recover from their illness. And I'm still over here. Still not turning into a zombie yet. Alright, Brazil is all good. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll keep going and see if Peach gets better. Alright, there we go. We're all good. What do we have here in the town? Oh, good. An auto shop. What do we have for upgrades? I don't need that. I have $18 to my name. Let's go see if we can scavenge some money, I guess. There's some. And I'm gonna need ammo. I'm gonna need ammo for the finale, too, so. so keep that in mind. When I start getting close. Oh jeez, this is a lot of zombies. They all want they all want me. Took a few of them out at least. And twenty dollars. And that was not the hole I was hoping for. Nice, there were some 
ammo. There's food all the way across there. That's why it's had to be all the way over there. Uh, this is a lot of zombies. This is starting to stress me out a little. Nope. I didn't think I was that close. Well, at least the activity has gone down to high. Find a lot more money, which is what I need. Oh, I wasted that ammo now. Hey, girlfriend, how could my zombie apocalypse all? <laughs> right? Need more money. If I have more money, I buy more ammo. If I have more ammo, I can kill more zombies. If I can kill more zombies, I have a greater chance to live. Oh, shoot. Don't get me. Ooh. I'm gonna have to carve a path and go and I have to carve my way out of here. Oh shoot, that is not at all what I wanted to do. I missed. I messed that up. That was my fault. I got $12. Maybe that money bag will still be there. See, that's, that's the most stressful thing about this game, is trying to get enough to survive. It's not the zombies themselves. Still not sure what that thing that popped up over here is. Eh. Okay, money. I need it. Everybody just playing follow the leader. Okay, forty dollars. That's not terrible. Got 120, I'll leave it at that. Wait, no. See if I can buy more ammo. Uh, they don't have ammo. What are, what are the supplies my 81? It's not great. 328 miles from the mine. We wait an hour while Brodzilla vomits in the bushes. Oh, I should have healed pilot. Or pilot. I should have healed pilot while we were stopped. A thief stole one of my five mufflers. Oh no, I would have had four mufflers because Peach sat on one and ruined it. <laughs> Slow down to sneak past the large horde of zombies. Got lost on a backcountry road for an hour. We're not having a good time here, pals. How are we doing on time? Ooh, not great time. Um, I told you I was ill. Just have to. Whoa. Whoa. You made me waste all my ammo. What was that zombie made of? Titanium? <sighs> yeah, I'll look at the other tombstone. Here lies all religion, countries, and possessions. <laughs> Imagine no possessions. Religion too. <laughs> nice, nice John Lennon reference there, game. I appreciated that one. Also, our car is not doing so good. Military blockade and pizza progress for an hour. We keep getting blocked for hours. The mine. Click anywhere to continue. Uh, of course, there's no, there's no place that'll fix the car for me. Uh, 
Okay, that wasn't too bad. I really don't like this minigame. Oh, the super slow one I did the worst on. I'll take a look at the map when I'm done with the fixing. Oh, <laughs> I almost had it good for all the way through. Okay, one more time ought to do it. Got it, okay. Only one, no, two misses that time. Okay, it's close enough to being fixed. No, oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that. I was clicking too fast. Okay. All right, so I need to look at the map. Okay, we're getting close. We are getting close. Everybody rest. Great on the Force Craft game. Yeah, the one that I was trying to finish as quickly as possible, I somehow did good on. Medkit for pirate. Now town. Please tell me you have ammo. You do have ammo. Nice. Be a bad idea to buy one thing of med kit. And now I have four dollars to my name. Okay. 228 miles to Salt Lake City. Where they are all nice and salty. We see an explosion in the distance. There was Michael Bay. Uh, you swerve to miss a squirrel and get stuck in a ditch. Of course. You always need that, uh, that gif of Raul Julia to, of course! Uh, you su suddenly, oh, uh, everybody gets whiplash again. Hooray! None of us were sick to get cured from the whiplash. Okay, we rummaged two med kits off a body at the side of the road. Okay, in Salt Lake City... Salt a dog. Salty dog. <laughs> Close. <laughs> oh, where am I going to get my salty dog now? Oh, I only have four dollars. It's not one that I wanted anyway. Oh, six med kits. I could t I'll do it for six med kits. I will definitely do it for six med kits. <laughs> All hail Whiplash. What other streams have Raul Julia references? <laughs> right. I'm glad I'm glad you caught the reference, OJ. Yeah, we'll never forget the time Raul Julia was on Mystery Science Theater 3000. <laughs> you telling me it wasn't a smutty dog? <laughs> I guess not. It was a salty dog because it was in Salt Lake City. You made it. Six medkits. Yay. Alright, we're doing okay. We're doing decent enough. I come across a horde of zombies. It appears to be agitated and it's large. I'm gonna see if it dissipates a bit. Nope. One more time. And if it doesn't, we'll go out guns blazing. Oh, it got worse. Uh, one more time then. Smutty Dog is probably a user on Tumblr anyway. Probably. Okay, well, we're just gonna bust out the guns and see what we can do. Hopefully this doesn't damage my car too bad. See, we got through that one okay. 
You successfully fought your way through the horde. Nice. 570 miles to the airbase. I think the airbase might actually be the last stop. Actually, I'm going to quickly repair the car because you get bonus points if the car is in good condition. See if I can go in for eight because I got it on the floor. Nope. That wasn't terrible. Did not do good that round. I got a D for, dude, you didn't do good. <laughs> It's all random, the speeds. Oh, and the super slow one is the one I messed up the worst. Okay, well, the car's fixed. Alright. Rest a little bit so that we can get everybody up to a decent health. D, not the D. <laughs> Alright, and then may as well... Put pirate at pole health too. You discover one of your gas tanks is filled with water. Rude. I should have looked at the map while I was stopped. Oh well, we're almost there anyway. You found an abandoned car, but there was nothing to be scavenged. Oh. So we're doing okay. We never ran out of fuel this playthrough, which is. Interesting, because usually I end up running out of fuel at this point, or at least twice by now. <laughs> oh, and yeah, OJ, I missed what you said overdrawn at the memory bank. That is indeed one of my favorite episodes of Mystery Science Theater. You try to drive through a flooded street. It doesn't work. My name is Michael with a D. Where's the D? There's a D? Oh no. Okay, stop first. The Peach has measles. And we hit the air base. Okay. Maybe this isn't the last stop. Okay, no, there's one more stop and then we're good. Let's rest until Peach is better. Yeah, I haven't turned into a zombie, so that's good. Well, the first time I played this game, I didn't know that resting healed the party, so I just never rested. And then, yeah, some... Uh, some... Uh, some bad things happened. <laughs> Let's just say. Uh, I need to get better so my butt can sit on more things. It's as long as you don't damage the car while doing that. Really missed that last one. Okay, we'll try again. Good thing I collected all this scrap. Okay, that didn't do too terrible. Okay. I'm really bad at this, guys. <laughs> well, the car's at full health, so we're good, I guess. Nothing he can teach us, not that we have money to do that anyway. I don't really need either of those. 
Let's just go. 322 miles to safe haven. Another mistake I did when I first played. I did not read the instructions for how to do the finale of the game. <laughs> because I thought it was the same instructions that it was giving me for the rest of the game. I hit a pretty nasty bump and four dollars flat. No, that's all our money! <laughs> all of our money just flew out the window. No, I was going to sit on that money. Great. Alright, well. We made it to safe haven. And now comes the fun stuff. Hey there, welcome to safe haven. I'll let you in, but our power grid is down for maintenance. You need to power the bridge if you want to get in. There should be an old gas generator and some fuel lying around. Go gather it up in a hurry. Looks like there's a horde heading this way. Alright, so I accidentally skipped past this scene because I assumed it was the same controls that it had been reminding me the entire game. But they are not the same controls. So gather fuel and bring it back to the generator. You can carry two at a time. Your party will replace you if you fall. They will also provide covering fire from the station wagon. Alright, so now I'm controlling Maven right now. And I have to collect fuel. 10 out of 10 voice acting, right? I actually used to do voice acting, so... That was me not trying too hard, though. I used to do voice acting. There's a, uh, a stop-motion series that I did back in the day. Uh, yeah, stop-motion series I did back in the day where I did... For the first season, I did the voices of every single character. No, no, no. Oh, we lost Maven. Shoot. I didn't mean to do that. Maven died. <laughs> we got a skull up in the party left menu. Oh, jeez. So this is... I think we're Peach now. It still says Maven, but it glitches out. It did that to me last time. I think... I'm pretty sure we're controlling Peach right now. She was the next one. Uh, oh, come on. Okay, we're halfway there. We need we need to we need to get eight things of gas, and we'll be safe. As long as they don't <laughs> meet you, Paven. I'm gonna go for that. I'm gonna go for that ammo. Oh, oh, oh. oh no! <laughs> I did it again. Okay, we're Hojin. Oh no, no, we're Brodzilla now. No, no more, no more dying. Okay, no one, no more deaths. No more deaths. We can't keep. Do no, don't get stuck on the barrels. <laughs> it still says Maven. <laughs> okay, we got the, we got the, we got it. So, whoa! What even happened there? What happened? I didn't even see it. Shoot, we're we're me now. Oh no. This is unfortunate. This is extremely unfortunate. What even got me here? Oh no. This is Oh, I have I have to. Do what even got me over here? Oh. No. <laughs> Gosh, dang it. This is harder than it looks. Oh. I can't do it. Okay, we're down to pirate. Pirate is our last hope. And the music stopped. That's actually kind of scary. <laughs> you must live. Oh, she doesn't have the shotgun. So that's even worse. And she's moving very slowly. Cue the moon theme, right? 
I'm not taking any risks. I want to win. I did get this far once and die. Okay, the no music thing is actually kind of scary to me. Okay. Oh. Pirate made it. Pirate made it to the safe haven. Oh, wait, did we all make it? Healthy party member one. Incas incapacitated party members three. Infected party member one. Oh, wait, we all made it. We were just incapacitated, I guess. We didn't die. Okay, well, I guess that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. We actually made it. Just Pirate was the only one who was kind of healthy at the end. Because Maven, Peach, and Brudzilla were all knocked out cold and I was infected. And Peach lives, right? I... Oh, thank you for the thank you for the bits, Brazilla. I appreciate that. The ten victory bits. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that was. Uh, you've unlocked fifty additional tombstones. So that's kind of like the thing you get there at the end. All right. The men who wear many hats. So now you can kill all the people who made this game <laughs> during the credits. By driving over them in the car. All right, yeah, that was that was fun. I don't know if there's a is there a oh yeah, I can just skip the skip the credits because I gotta wrap up the stream here. I went a little a little bit over my uh, I was supposed to end at three, but yeah, that was super fun. Thanks everybody for joining me on this epic adventure here to Oregon in the Oregon Trail. So, I will, um... Yeah, I will see you guys all next time. My next stream, uh... I think it's Tuesday, right? Let me double-check my schedule real quick. This, today's... Thanks, everybody, who did show up today, too, because this is, like... If I was following the schedule that I originally had set, I would have started in a half hour from now. But unfortunately, I had to reschedule it. Uh, but yeah, so the next, yeah, the next stream I will be doing is Tuesday at 9 a.m., which is uh, U.S. Central Time. I'll be doing Horizon Zero Dawn some more. I took a week off from that game to rekindle the Dragon Age uh, thing, to try to get all the achievements. But yeah, we'll be doing Horizon Zero Dawn on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, which is Halloween Day at 7 p.m., I will be playing this game again. Probably only one run. Might not even be a full run. But I'll be doing this game again at 7 p.m. on Wednesday. Hopefully. That one's not confirmed. But And then Thursday, there's another possible stream at 9 a.m. for Inquisition. And then that's it for the week. Uh... And then, uh, hopefully I will see you guys there. Uh, if not, that's perfectly fine. No one, uh, it's always just fun to see you guys. It's fun to play games with you all. And until then, you know, I will see you all next time. Uh, let me, let me double check. See if there's anybody who's currently streaming now. I can send you guys over for a raid. Oh, we have, um... Martuchman is live. He's playing Red Dead Redemption 2. I don't really know anything about uh, Red Dead Redemption, but I know I will. I know a lot of people really like it. A friend of mine super enjoys it. Why can't I find my chat? Oh, there it is. There we go. Oh, and thank you for that follow, Central Stream. Thank you so much. It was fun watching. Oh, thank you. And well, oh, what are you waiting for? There's my super delayed sound effect for that.
I know I saw the graphic pop up, but I don't think I saw the... I think the sound might have been super delayed. Hey. Okay. Thanks for the stream. Well, thank you for coming, Hoja. I always love, I always love seeing you guys. All right, so we're going to quickly raid Martuchman real quick. There we go. All right. Until then, I will see you guys later. So keep on keeping on and stay classy. All right, hitting the button now. Push the button, Frank!